The Pelicans completed their penultimate homestand of the year on Sunday with the final game against the Lynchburg Hillcats. Brad Markey took the hill for the slightly earlier start on a Sunday evening. Let's go to the highlights. Another night and another great start from a Pelican starting pitcher. Saturday was Paul Blackburn with a career-high nine strikeouts, and on Sunday, Brad Markey was sensational. He allowed a man into scoring position on an infield single and a balk in the first, and no one else advanced past first base in his six and two-thirds innings. In the top of the third, he strikes out Paul Hendricks here on a fastball, one of four strikeouts on the night for the right-hander out of Virginia Tech, who faced just three over the minimum in six and two-thirds. The Pelicans didn't score a bunch of runs on Sunday, but it was more than enough. In the third, they got a one-out double from Chesney Young on a ground ball down the left field line. Penchie Chen broke a bat during the at-bat and broke another on this fly ball down the right side, but it's a hit. In fact, it's three for Chen, driving in Young to make it one to nothing Pelicans. Next inning, a one-out double setting the table once again, this time from Jordan Hankins. And with two outs, Kevin Brown with a double of his own, this time down the left side. That drives in Hankins from second base, who had two hits on the night, and the Pelicans led it two to nothing. Markey faced the minimum in the fourth and the sixth, and in the seventh, the one-out single before a fly-out ended his night. Six and two-thirds, no runs, three hits, a walk, and four strikeouts, and Markey a very well-earned ovation on his way to his fifth win. Tyler Ira got the final man in the seventh worked the eighth and in the ninth closer Jasri Ricard came on and got his 15th save. Two outs, Saman on because of an error and Paul Hendricks strikes out looking on a changeup. Ricard notches down the save. The Pelicans complete the 2-0 shutout and take the series over the Northern Division leaders in what is potentially a Mills Cup championship preview. If the season ended today, the Hillcats would have the second playoff spot in the North while the Pelicans, although they have a chance to win the second half as well, have already clinched a spot having won half number one. The Birds now head to Winston-Salem, where they'll play three games against the Southern Division leaders, the Winston-Salem Dash, who are only a game and a half up on the Pelicans. It's part of a six-game road trip. The Pelicans are back at home against the very same Dash on Monday night, August 24th. To tell you what's going to happen during that game and the rest of the homestand, we send it out to on-field host Hannah Eads. Take it away, Hannah. Thanks, Nathan. Fans, we will be right back here August 24th to kick off a seven-game homestand with Backpack Buddies Monday. That's right, fans. Receive half-price admission by donating an item from the approved Backpack Buddies donation list. And Tuesday is golf night featuring an Argyle Visor giveaway. It's going to be another jam-packed week of Pelicans fun. We'll see you at the ballpark.